Good morning. Uh, today we're going to paint this building again. Uh, we painted it from the other side, but uh, today what I'm interested in is the light on the building and learning to capture that light and realizing that when we're painting, uh, we're always just painting light in the way that it affects form. So along with that, I'd like to do some washes, you know, do multiple washes, multiple color washes, and learning to do a wash without mixing the color in the wash. So dropping one color on top of another and letting the vibration come through. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so let's get started. So what I'd like to do in the sky here is to uh, paint the three colors and pay attention to those three colors and how they vibrate between each other. So uh, let's start with this Aurelian yellow. And we'll use this to both wet our paper and put our first coat, our first wash on. So we can come down. So that's Aurelian yellow. And what we could do here, it, it's interesting, I hadn't thought of this, but we could actually go into our buildings, into the shadow of the buildings at the same time. And let's get all of that in. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna drop some rows, and drop that right on top. Now notice I say drop so that you don't you don't press so hard that you're mixing the colors. If, if you press hard, you're going to mix the colors. This way, what we're doing is we're just letting the color come down. We're letting this rose, uh, just we're just dropping it on top of the yellow. Okay, so you get that beautiful warm tone. You don't really have to pick them up, you know, you can let this come right down. In a hole. That's it. Okay, you can just let that come right down. So you can see this beautiful color setting up. So let's take some cobalt blue now. Mix up enough so that you can cover all your. Okay, and we'll drop that right on top. Now drop it. See, I'm not pressing very hard. Just letting it come down. I'm just leading the color, just leading it where it wants to go. So you get these beautiful gray tones and there's some vibration underneath with the yellows and the rose coming through, the quincing in it. And we can paint this roof. All right, while it's still damp, we can pick up that rose and this, this dark color and go right into our you know there's a beautiful dark shadow here and we can put that in it's very dark uh, and then it gets it gets much lighter so we get the rose in there And it's, there's a little rose up here as well. I'm going to bring that in. Tie that whole building together. By putting in this, you know, by painting layers of color and not mixing the color, but painting it one over the other, you get a beautiful vibration, get some beautiful color. Okay, we could get some of the detail in now. Uh, just going to paint some, some shadows underneath. Um, get some of these windows in. Okay, I'm going to this is a little darker so I'm going to make this and what that will do is put some light on the chimney 
Okay, I think that's, uh, you know, we, we could keep going with this, Tim. What I'd like to do is get some nice shadow on this. This is violet shadow on this thing. I'm going to keep it the same color. I don't want to get into yellows here. That. We have another building over here. And we could paint this sidewalk here and drive away a little darker. So you bring that violet tone through the whole the whole painting here. And I'll put a few of these um, shadows in here. All right, so there's a lot of trees. Uh, the trees there, you know, Altamarine and Queen Sienna. And then you want to put some rose in there. So, and I'll, I'll do a few of them, but uh, you know, the trees will take you, take you a little while. But what you want to do is just sort of suggest them. And what I like to do when I put a stroke in like that, that's all one shape, you just want to take a towel and maybe lighten up one area or another, and that will show that will show some light on the on the brain. A lot of branches. Take your time with it, and, and don't get uh, don't get frustrated. You know, the trees trees are beautiful, and they add so much to your painting. And if you, um, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, students, particularly, um, they don't put in enough branches, and the trees don't look uh, real. They don't look fulfilled. You know. And if you take some darks, you know, just add a dark streak here and there, that gives it some shadow. Okay, I'll put this. This one's coming right down. It's amazing how long branches are. You know, when you look at them, I mean, they, you know, 10, 12 feet long. Anyway, so you get the idea. Uh, it's really important to get enough in there. And it's, you know, there's a lot of them in here and a lot coming in here. Mm -hmm. It'll be much lighter back here. A lot of branches, a lot of stuff going on. Okay, now, and you have this big one in here. Uh, whether or not you want to put that in, you know, it's totally, totally, uh, well. That's much, uh, it's going to be much lighter. Okay. All right, so let's get some of this uh, shadow in. So I, I have a nice mix here, and I'll just, uh, so we have a nice shadow. It's coming, coming up the uh, building here. We have a few. Thank you. Shadows are wonderful because they, you know, they lead the viewer into the painting, uh, and they direct your 
It helps you to direct the viewer's eye around your painting. Okay. See, this is what I mean. This tree needs a little bit of light so you can wet it. You just go in with your towel. Just that little bit of light helps so much to versus a really dark and a big dark. There's some shadow underneath that beam. All right, let's, uh, just for fun here, let's put some the figures in there. Let's put a big one here. We use the that method of Okay, just a couple of figures. Keep them in the shadow. If you want, you can give them a little color. Just keep them in those. All right, so there you go. It's it's really just nice, you know. Learning the washes, learning to get some vibration and some beautiful uh, color, glowing color beneath your um, beneath your washes. Okay, I hope that helped. It's a nice that was a nice painting. Nice, simple, easy to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.